Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and today we are going to be doing a layout from the crop. It seems that all the layouts I did at the crop are a lot more simple and I love that. I was able to get 16 pages done, I believe. So it's just really simple and it's very fabulous. On this one, I thought I used a sketch for almost everything when I went to the crop, but on this one, I don't have the sketch with it, so I'm not sure if I actually used a sketch or not. Now, most of the papers that I am going to be using with this, with the exception of that background paper, the background paper is from Chamel, but all these little strips that I'm using, those are all from the I Heart Us collection from Close to My Heart. Same with this little polka dotted paper, it is so cute. This collection had a rainbow stripe in it, you'll see me pull it out here in a minute because I'm going to pull off the periwinkle from it or trim off the periwinkle from it. So cute. I love that rainbow paper. I'm also going to use a little strip of this one, also the same I Heart Us collection, and it's just going to go up at the top. So my paper is going to have the diagonal base with white cardstock on top, two strips at the top, two strips at the bottom, and in the center, just my little photo cluster. Super duper simple. I love, love, love how this came out. I was a little bit unsure of how I was going to title it or what I was going to make my title be. And <laughs> I end up just using some pre-printed phrases or some phrases that were already made. Those are going to be from Maggie Holmes. I am going to back this photo on that fabulous rainbow stripe paper. Oh man, look at that. Isn't that fabulous? I love that. This collection that's the heart, I Heart Us I don't think it's available anymore. It, it was like from last season, but when I started doing the Close to My Heart in June, there was still some in stock. So I was able to pick up a pack, even though it wasn't really current. It was great. I'm really happy I was able to get that. You can see that I also am including a doily on this page. That's one of those Cambridge doilies I had picked up at Amazon a couple years ago. I 2,000 of them. I remember when I first got that box, I guess I didn't read the description very well and it came in and there was all these doilies. Like, I was like, holy crap. And I ended up doing doily giveaways. I think I gave away, I don't even know how much, but everybody who had commented on this one video, I sent them a handful of doilies <laughs> and I still have a ton of them left. I am just going to be using ATG tape to put this down, even the doily. And sometimes the doilies are a little bit finicky because they're so thin. And if you use your ATG gun on them, they will rip. So you just have to be careful doing that. But that's what I end up using on this one anyway. When I decided on the colors of my stripes, I just pulled them from the polka dotted paper. Now in the end, you're not going to even see a whole lot of that polka dotted paper because the part right here on the right hand side is mostly covered up by that doily. And then over on the left hand side, I made the mat, the mat on that photo with that rainbow paper so big, it covers most of the polka dotted paper up. You can see a little sliver of it though. It still works. I still like all these colors together, which makes sense because they were all from the same collection, right? So totally makes sense. These are the two photos I'm going to be using. These are photos that I took of BJ, Marissa and Riley at we took him out for dinner for his birthday. So this was like in July and I just wanted to get a picture of them all together. One of them's kind of really goofy. The other one's not as goofy. It's funny. Uh, Riley was sitting there and she kept putting her feet up on the table. <laughs> These are the Maggie Holmes pre-printed phrases that I said I was going to use. This is basically what I use for my, all of my embellishing. My title, I just put love ya with a heart and then I'm also going to pull off of the word cute and put that down at the bottom. I'll use, uh, I think, two of the wreath bits as uh, embellishment pieces. I don't put any enamel dots or anything like that on there. I will use another one of those hearts as well. I love these. They're really cute. They're very, the font is very dainty and thin. Well, maybe not very, but it's dainty and thin. So, so cute. It might would look better on a more romantic type page, but I like it on this one. I think it, it serves its purpose pretty good. You see how I cut that wreath up just so I could use it in two spots? I'm going to pull another bigger wreath off and put it down there, right there. 
See, my video had a cut out. Sorry about that. That's the only thing you missed. I do take out the Heidi Swap Color Shine in Gold and give that a splatter on the page. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to do this layout. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Please check the description box, box for places you can find me, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.